Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. Welcome back to our series on the Ruger Precision Rifle. In the last video, part one, I walked you through the process of unboxing, setting up, and sighting in the rifles. At the end of the video, I also mentioned that it's not one Ruger Precision Rifle we're working with here, it's two. So we've got the 6.5 Creedmoor model, and we've also got the 243 Winchester model. Now, in this video, I want to invite you along to come to the North Central Washington Gun Club with me with the club president, Jim Finlay, and with the 6'5 guys, Ed Mobley and Steve Lawrence. So let's see how these rifles are going to do at 600 yards and 1,000 yards. So this is where it all starts. We're out here at the uh, North Central Washington Gun Range. We've got Steve and Ed from the 6.5 guys. We've got Jim, AKA Jim the Plumber here. I want to show you guys what I brought because uh, there's only one thing that's better than one Ruger Precision Rifle, right? So yeah. I actually brought two. We've got uh, the, the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 243 versions here. Uh, we're running Vortex Vipers on both of these. They're, they're bore sighted and 100 yard sighted, and it's time to see what these guys can do. And you know, we're not gonna be overly serious today. It's really about fire forming the brass and getting uh, our ballistics dialed in. So let's set up. What do you guys think? Sounds I'm ready, I'm awesome. ready, let's do it. We started the day at the range at 600 yards, shooting at light to medium winds with the 6.5 Creedmoor Ruger Precision Rifle. Let's see how that went. Like, I'm ready to spot yep. what I'm telling okay. you. I'm on glass. When I'm over here sleeping. So shooting? Go for it. All right, you saw, okay, you were, you need to come down 0.5 mils. 0.5? Yeah, come down 0.5. Okay. And you were about 0.3 to the right. So okay. go to the left, 0.3, come down to 0.5. Okay, we're there. Shooting. Bam! There you go. Nice. Spin. First 600 yard hit, second shot. Yeah. Good shot. Nice. So, Gavin, you've got so why don't you... There, let's Steve, let's Steve try it out because he's been uh, patiently video. Is it the upside down Ipsic? Yes, that's correct. Just off, just off right side. That's correct. About uh, two tenths right. There we go. There you go. A little right. There you go. Right in the head. You called that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Spin it up right. Cool. What do you think, Steve? Fun. Yeah. Yeah, overall, I, I, I like the action. Uh, trigger's a little heavy for my taste, but... Oh, I haven't even adjusted it yet. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you can hear that from here. Yep. You went uh, right in the next line on the left side of center. Okay. And then, since this is a right-handed rifle, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. It's it's going to the dark side. Yeah, I'm going to the dark side. So sorry for you. There you go. Right in the same spot. Yeah, same spot. So it is an ambidextrous rifle. I mean, I I like it. I mean, get a get a nice muzzle brake on there because without the muzzle brake, you know, there's some hot. But yeah, this is just a really nice rifle. I'm really liking it. 
Next up was 243 Winchester at 600 yards. And I'll have to say I was a bit surprised how much I liked this rifle. Let's check that out. Yeah, so I'm loading. I'm loading some 243 ammo here. We just finished with the 6.5 Creedmoor Ruger Precision Rifle at 600 yards, and I just got the 243 Ruger Precision Rifle on onto the steel. So we're shooting an IPSEC upside down target at 600 yards here, and uh, it's pretty much the same experience, of course, with a little bit less recoil. So. Uh, Let's see what it actually sounds like, huh? Okay, shooting. Dead center. Dead center what? Right. Okay. Shooting. There you go, centered up perfect. Nice. Yeah, so we had a little bit of wind there and a little bit of an offset uh, from a prior shooter. But uh, yeah, the, the recoil on the 243 is significantly less, I would say. 6.5 Creedmoor is not bad at all, but uh, it's a good shooter. And uh, I think it, it's now time for Steve and Ed to give it a try. So Steve here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot on the Ruger Precision Rifle in 243 win. Get back. I'll go with that. Uh, Impact. Follow up. Impact. You on it? Yeah, I'm on it. Awesome. Third round impact. All right. So, uh, man, this is a real shooter. Loving it. Um, again, the uh, 243, I think, is just uh, a great caliber because it's so flat shooting. And in these winds, uh, you know, once you're on, you're on. So we've got a 600-yard target out there, and the wind has really picked up. Steve uh, told me that uh, his hold was about a target width off the left edge. And with a 243, that tells me the wind is really moving. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that hold a try and, and see how we do. That was just off the left edge, so it's a little too much wind. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. And that was on target. Nice. And it's uh, this 243. Now, the difference with this 243 versus the 6.5 Creed is with no muzzle brake, I am on target. I mean, it does not leave the target, which is a big difference. You know, just that lack of recoil, it just makes it that much easier to shoot without any type, anything hanging off the muzzle. So I tell you, man, Ruger's got a really, really nice rifle. Very impressed. Next up, we took things all the way out to a thousand yards. Yes, over a half mile. And with medium to fair winds, I had to use a holdover of about two to four mils, depending on the intensity of the winds. So it was a bit hit and miss at times, but uh, here's some highlights from that thousand yard session. So it took a total of three shots to get on the steel target at a thousand yards, and now I'm gonna see if I can do it again. We're shooting 140 grain A maxes here. All right, I'm on glass there, Gavin. Okay, I'm on target. There you go. Shooting. Impact. Nice. <laughs> Send it again. Impact. Awesome. Two in a row. I'm really liking this thing. Are you ready? Yep, the wind died up slightly. Okay, I'm going to take off a half mil. Okay, send it. Oh, just off the right edge. Okay, so hold, hold at three. Impact. Awesome. 
Well, uh, that was awesome. Taking the Ruger Precision rifle out to a thousand, I felt actually really confident. We got some tricky wins that are going on here, and uh, I'm looking forward to going a little bit further. So another thing that's been interesting today has been to try out the Vortex Viper 6 to 24 by 50, and uh, you know it's taken a little bit uh, to get used to a different system, but uh, I really like the clarity. Uh, you know, shooting out at 600, shooting out at a thousand. And uh, the scope rings are really solid. It feels like it's holding zero really well. And uh, I got the eye relief dialed in. So, you know, I'm really happy with it, but uh, we are gonna push it out to, we're thinking to go to a mile. I don't know how big of a target I'm gonna need to hit it, something at a mile, but uh, you know, we'll take it that much further and, and see how it does. We also have the Vortex Viper. This is the, the 4 to 16 by 44 uh, that we were shooting on the other uh, Ruger Precision rifle that we had on hand today. Yeah, this one is in 243 Winchester. Really nice light, light recoiling gun. And uh, th this scope doesn't push you out quite as far. I kind of like the 24 power magnification, uh, but it seems to work really well as well. So all in all, a really good, really good day of shooting. Wow, that was a great day at the range. Beautiful weather, great rifles, great shooting, having fun with friends. It doesn't get much better than that. And, you know, for this shooting session, I just used a couple arbitrary loads that I worked up. For 243, it was based on some remnant loading components that Jim had laying around. And for the 6.5 Creedmoor, I worked up a 120 grain AMAX load and 140 grain AMAX load. Both of those actually did really well. Haven't even had a chance to chronograph them yet. So we got more work to do, but already off to a great start. Now I hope you'll stick around because we got a lot more action. And next up is a fireside chat with the 6.5 guys to hear their reflections on this great day of shooting. So if you like what I'm doing, definitely please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you all next time.